Hello world, my name is Ben. This is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks that I learned over many years in AnyLogic. And today I want to talk about making AnyLogic as efficient as possible for your daily use. So how can you configure it mostly visually in a way that is best for heavy users? So let's talk about it. So by default, AnyLogic out of the box looks like that. That is the kind of setup that they give you. So you've got this three-way split. Uh, in the middle, you have the kind of uh, UI-centered um, frame panel. On the right-hand side, you have the properties for your various objects. On the left-hand side, you can switch between uh, project view and the palette, which has all the objects that you can drag into the middle frame. So this is when you use any logic on one screen. And this default setup is a highly inefficient setup because you waste a lot of space, a lot of very, very valuable screen real estate here on the left hand side. So let me show you how I set up uh, any logic if I use it on one screen. And the first thing is I always make this as small as possible. I don't need uh, a lot of space here on the left hand side because I can still, you know, use this and uh, add or uh, collapse sections, no problem. Now you see I still have a lot of white space left over here, even for bigger models. So what I then do is I drag the palette to the bottom here. So you can drag any of those little windows around as much as you want in any way, shape or form that you like. So maybe adjust it a little bit, but I very rarely use the project view. I use the palette view quite a bit. So I give it typically a bit more space and I can pan between the different palette objects and I can scroll between within a, within a palette, no problem. I still don't need more space here. That's fine. I do need a fair bit of space for the um, central frame, for the, for the visual stuff. Um, so I typically leave about half of my screen real estate to that because you need to be able to pan around uh, and do various things there. So I just leave that and then I give as much space as possible to the properties because in daily life you typically spend most of your time in the properties. Uh, for more advanced users it's typically most of the time you spend writing code, any logic code. Um, you can always reset that. So if you're not happy with that you can always click reset perspective and it takes you back to where you were. Now let me show you a few more tricks. So uh, sometimes you just need a lot of white uh, space for this visual presentation. You don't need anything else. You can just double click on main and it expands to the full screen size, which is great. Now we can do whatever you need to do. Everything else is minimized. You see uh, the palette and properties view here, uh, projects view here on the left hand side and the properties are here on the right side side. If you click any of those restore buttons, that properties view will be restored. But you could also just double click back on main and the previous view will be restored. Then instead of double clicking, you can also just click on this maximize. So it's like, like Windows, Windows. Um, you have this maximize and minimize capability so you can be quite flexible. Okay, and let me show you one last uh, simple trick. By default, if you're um, a beginner with any logic, what often happens is, you know, you see this screen on startup of any logic by default. And, you know, it's useful the first or second time around. But once you get to used to any logic, you should just untick this show on startup thing. And then when you start any logic in the future, it's not going to show you again. I, I see that with a lot of people, even after half a year of use or so, they still didn't click that box. Just shows off a couple of seconds of your daily work. All right, so these are a couple of thing, simple things to, to optimize your setup. I'll make a few more videos with some more advanced tips. Thanks a lot.